Well, it says we're recording. Hi, everybody. This is Bob. I just had this uh, <coughs> cute little uh, electroscopes that I wanted to show you. Uh, I uh, just wanted to show you how you can make these things from everyday items around the house. Nothing special. And they're a lot of fun. I'm going to charge them up with... Uh, with my Electrofloris. And we'll bring it down and bingo. So you can see the leaves move. Now only one leaf moves in these. One, got two leaves, one is stationary, but only one pivots. And uh, so it makes it real, it simplifies the construction quite a bit. And you can still have a lot of fun with them. These are only about five inches to the very top. They're five inches and they're two inches in diameter. They're made out of old pill bottles. <laughs> These happen to be aspirin bottles. And uh, I had these little, I had the little brass, uh, terminal ends, little round balls, and they were already threaded, so I, uh, so I used them, and uh, then I had the, this is just insulation here with the cap, Let's see if I can get a better, better pointer, I don't know, I didn't get too well organized here, I was going to use, I have my other pointer, but I'm too far away from it, and the heck with it, right? I didn't put any ballast in the bottom of these. They're just freestanding, and uh, you can discharge them. Now this happens to be a positive charge I'm giving them. One reacts better than the other, but. They, do, they respond real quick to a very low potential, very low voltage. Um, the, very, the aluminum foil I use is very thin, very not very strong at all. So you don't want to put a lot of charge in these because you'll bend the leaf. I've already done it once, had to straighten it back up. So I don't recommend charging them while well in the Wimhurst or the uh, Vandy graft. Uh, just with a uh, uh, by uh, using a PVC uh, rod or tube and uh, or a uh, <clears throat> in this case I'm using a Electrofloris, which if you can. I've got other video and show you how to make the electrophorus and there's plenty of uh, I believe there's plenty of information out there not only on the internet and, but other places on how to build one yourself and they're very handy to have around well I was going to show you just I was going to show you how I made these like I said, now these have this so-called child tamper caps, which are a pain in the neck. I think give give us old people more trouble in opening than it does the kids, but that's my opinion. But you see, only the one leaf moves, and I've got a I've got a bolt. And this is all this is all one piece. This is a a rather heavy gauge aluminum. Now you could use a um, soda can to use a stiffer for the stiffer part leaf, stationary leaf, and it's all one piece. All this is just, and then it's bent around. And as as you can see, I've got my my loop here, and I just looped it around, put it in so it moves very easy. I use, I cut a little piece of scotch tape after I bent it over and glued it back to itself so it can't fall off. And 
that is it's that simple and I had a little machine screw and I was a regular machine screw and I filed the head flat and rounded the edges so the ions don't uh, doesn't give off ions very easy holds it better and it does hold charge for a rather long time and uh, this one's the same same setup I made them they're not quite the same as you can see they basically built the same in the basic idea but I came back with this one and then down this one doesn't it's it's closer to the center line a little bit maybe quarter inch I don't think it's that far maybe eighth inch but they're not exactly exactly alike but it's just to show you you've got some some fudge factor I call it some working room so you can uh, get the get the leaf or the moving leaf as close to the uh, stationary leaf as possible and like I said don't uh, this is great for just playing around uh, now this, I don't know what type of, depending on the humidity and how much I play with it, how much charge I can pick up on my electrofluorus plate. But I've, on a real low humidity day when I was playing with them, I hit, it built up such a potential that the leaf bent. So I, uh, don't charge them that hard. Yeah, but you can see how sensitive it is. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the leaf moving back and forth. Uh, this one will do the same thing. But I just thought as a neat, quick. Remember, this is just a. These are two-inch diameter, little clear plastic jars. When it was all done, it's about five inches tall. But it's something you could build as a project. You can charge them up at home just by rubbing on a different rods of different kind, like a, if, a PVC pipe or uh, try other things. Um, if you got access, get on the internet and check your tribal electrics, and you can come up with different ways and different charges. Now these happen to be because I'm touching it. They're the same charge as you see. I don't discharge a thing. The same way here. And you you can charge them up. You can you can charge them up by now that was by conduction. Now we're going to charge them up by induction, or at least one of them. You just do that. And then you see how it goes back. I'm not getting a good setup here. There. You can see that it's now opposite charge, which it should be. That means that the leaf is negative and being attracted to the positive plate. And my electrofluorus, my plate is always, always positive. Didn't do a very good job there. It just takes practice and technique. And I'm straddling the camera between me and the electroscope, so yeah, there it goes. It works. And I'm running a yeah, pretty decent humidity, 55%. All right, I just thought you'd, uh, if if you didn't want to build the big, the, like the other electroscopes that I have on my channel and I show you how to build them these are built in a very similar way just smaller and like I said they're so light they really don't need any ballast they're pretty stable as a rule but I wouldn't put if you overcharge them you can you can bend the leaf and uh, that was the only precaution I was going to tell you about but other than that put it together in a few hours 
you don't have to have a round top terminal like this. I just happen to have these, and I want, and I so I use them. But you can use, well, any shape. You can use plates. You can, you can just uh, improvise. Uh, you can actually have a nut on the top, some thread showing, and put on different uh, terminal ends if you want. That's always a nice thing to do. Try different. Well, okay. I just want to make a quick video of that and show you that. Talk to you later. Bye.